फिर विधि चैप्टर नंबर वन जोग्राफी एस एस सी एंड स्टैंडर्ड ओके मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स वेन दे गो ऑन फील्ड विजिट वॉट डे डू ऑब्वियसली जोग्राफी they study the climatic condition they study the soil they study various other factors like temperature they go to the annual topography and several the physiological and geographical features of that region of that area of that state or of that locality so that is concerned uh, with the field visit and that we are going to study in the field visit now field visit obviously what is the field visit field visit is not a trip it is not a picnic Even though we go from one place to another place, obviously, and we go to, to the from urban area to rural area or rural village, okay, to observe certain things. Yeah, field visit is not it is not a picnic. It is a geographical tour. It is a geographical tour, mostly arranged, mostly conducted by the schools or any other educational institution. So field visit is very important because field visit. Is very important. Why? Because you get practical knowledge. You just didn't get. Uh, you just don't get. Uh, what you call that? Uh, phys, uh, what you call that? Theoretical knowledge, but also practical knowledge of various aspects related to geography. Okay, and that's why free visit is conducted, especially in various schools. Annually, every year, ten standard students nowadays they go for the free visit. To nearby area, or nearby village, or nearby locality, or even places to understand the geographical feature, to understand the geography, and to, this is nothing but a study tour. It is a tour, but it is a study tour. Okay. So field visit. Okay, we are going to study now. Rahul is going on a field visit with his classmates and school teachers from Nagpur in Osmanabad district, uh, in Osmanabad district to Alibar in Raigad district. Now, now we are going to see this display. Obviously, this tour, this study tour, or this field visit is conducted by the student under the guidance, under the monitoring, under the supervision of teachers. Okay. So, now we are going on a field visit with his classmate. He is not going alone. He is going with his classmate and school teacher from Nagpur. Nagpur lies in Osmanabad district in Maharashtra, and they are going to visit Alibagh, which is in Raigad district. So they are going from one location to another location, or one district to another district. This, but the same state that is nothing but the Maharashtra. Now the school has engaged a special bus from straight transport police vehicle. Obviously, most of the school when they go on a field visit for a field visit tour, obviously they arrange the buses on their own, and especially the uh, buses belong to ST or straight straight transport buses. But sometimes they also go by private vehicles. Or private buses, or luxury buses that you know. Now, Rahul and his classmates have organized this visit under the teacher's guidance. I already told you, any kind of field visit, any kind of study to relate to geography or anything that is that arranged by the student, but is conducted under the supervision or under the monitoring of the teacher. So obviously, uh, I have organized this visit under the teacher's guidance. Next, find out how the students are experiencing. Changes occurring in the relief. Relief is nothing but the height. Okay. Sometimes there is a height. Georges, valleys. Okay. That is nothing but the name. That is related to relief. Soil. Soil. You can understand fertility of the soil, infertility of the soil, arid region, semi-arid region. That is related to soil. Then they are going to study all these things. The relief soil. And after that they are going to study vegetation. Vegetation is nothing but the shrub, uh, herbs, trees, and various other things. Actually, vegetation is related to nothing but the trees. Okay. Flora and uh, obviously flora and fauna. Now, and human settlement. Human settlement. What kind of human settlements are there in that remote village or uh, where we are going for a field visit? Okay. As they travel from Nagpur to Alibagh, so the journey starts from Nagpur, that is in Osmanabad district, to Alibagh, that is in Raigad district. Okay. Now we go and so you can see the map here. Nagpur lies here and Alibagh lies here. You can easily Any student can easily, quickly guess that Alibagh lies near the coastal area, near to the coastal area, or already you see. While Nandur is far away from coastal area, okay. So it is not a what you call it. It doesn't have any kind of coastline. Which one? Nandur doesn't have its coastline. While Alibagh has a very coastline. There are several geographical features you can observe. So obviously, they started journey from Nandur. 
and their first haul will be at Solapur. They will not directly go from Alibaba to sorry Maldu uh, to Alibaba, but instead they will travel bit by bit. So obviously they will take halt at various places. First halt will be at Solapur. Second will be at Indapur, Indapur, and third one at Kochi Kanchan. Uh, fourth will be Harap Sir, and instead of going directly going to uh, going to Pune, they will. Take a sharp quick turn and they will be reach this Siangar Fort. Then also they will Pune or they will have what you call that a Harap Sir. Harap Sir also in Pune and then they will travel to the Pune Metropolitan City or the Urban Center. Then after that they will travel to Lonawla. Lonawla you know very well. Then after that Kopoli and then also they will travel to the you know Akwa Imagine Gardens in Kopoli and after that they will travel to the Alibaba and this is the way the journey will end. Again they will return by the same route. Okay. So we are going to study all these things, all the geography features they observe, all the students and teachers what they observe, what they see, what they what they call the mental features of this thing. So we we'll, uh, study all these things. Now go further. So what are the basic requirement when you go on field with it? What you have to carry with yourself, okay? While you are going to the field, what you have to carry? What are the important thing? What are the basic requirement? First one is nothing but that. So besides personal equipment, personal equipment means your clothes and toothpaste, or whatever you are carrying with you yourself, and I can't imagine it compulsory. It is a must because suppose you get lost, then obviously, obviously I can't will be very helpful. And students are carrying the following item. First one is nothing you can see is that this is not a school bag. This is the what you call that uh, when you go for travel, when you go to visit somewhere. Uh, or uh, when you go for hike or trekking, obviously you have such kind of a bag. This is very essential. This is very important. So you have to, you must have this bag. Afterwards, you can, you must have water bottle. You know, so you can fill it also. Then, so the third one is nothing but the pen, pencils, and notebook or any kind of a diary like that. The first thing is very important. Now, every student will not carry first aid. If our suppose thirty students, ten students, or five students will carry first aid, or teacher will carry first aid, in the according to the school and general policy. Now, map without map you cannot do anything. But now most of the students don't carry map. Now they are using Google or Google Map and several other various other software and applications in their mobile. Or you can carry physical map like this. Okay. Then binocular. Binocular is very essential to observe the. You can have a long view. For longer view of various things, okay, you can observe lo lot of things through binocular. Then DSLR, ca DSLR camera. Then cap also, cap also you have to wear, and after will come path to indicate what we call that uh, direction. Okay, so these things are very important. These items are very important, and all these things should be ready for any kind of field visit or geographical tour. Okay, field visit I don't know, really, nothing but a job, but we can do. Oh, okay, we will go further. Now, day one, the journey starts. All oh, the students down in this class, but with the teacher, the journey starts. In a straight line process from straight line process from Nalgur to Alba. Now, day one, six o'clock early in the morning. The teacher said, "Dear student, now we have left Nalgur. We have already left Nalgur. We are on our way to Solapur, and we will reach Solapur." Now we will have a breakfast at Solapur and lunch near Sivar. So obviously we will have breakfast early in the morning. Obviously students will be hungry, so they must have breakfast. So they will take breakfast at Solapur and lunch near Sivar. But lunch will be near Sivar, near Sivar Fort. Okay, Pune. That is the meaning Pune. Now all of you should observe both the side along the road. So you are sitting in a bus. Obviously those who are sitting near to the window, those are having window seat. Obviously, they can look outside. Other other students also can watch outside. And note down observation in the notebook with reference to this point. And you have to note down various observation you have made. Whatever observation you have made, it is not essential. But what geographical observation you are making, that is the most important. Related to the height, the level height, the height, the height, or you may have it altitude. Second, so water body, water body, the thing with the river, pond, lakes. Uh, see whatever various types of water, water, their streams. Then vegetation, vegetation is nothing but the shrubs, okay, bushes, trees, okay. That is nothing but the vegetation. That is the vegetation. Flora of that particular region, particular area, but on the geography too. Then soil, fertility of the soil, soil is all color of the soil, okay. Salinity of the soil. Various other things you can observe. 
Then agriculture, agriculture is nothing but agriculture pattern, crop pattern, cultivation pattern, harvest, everything you have to observe. There are also human settlement, combat settlement, nuclear settlement, dispersed settlement, uh, remote settlements also. There are various types of type of human settlements along the road or in that place or along the geographical tour. Okay. Now settlement patterns, whether that settlement pattern is nuclear settlements or whatever that uh, compact settlement, dispersed settlement, there are various types of settlement pattern, human settlement pattern that you have to observe and note down all these observations regarding this this thing which I have mentioned by the teacher that you have to write down in your notebook this was indicated or this was told by the teacher to all the students now Rahul said yes ma'am I can see that we are experiencing a undulating to topography okay Undulating topography and somewhere in between we can find plain. So now I made first observation. Rahul was very clever. Now sorry, Rahul is very clever. So obviously made observation and he said that I can see that we are experiencing undulating, undulating topography, uneven topography, rough, rough topography. That is that is called rough topography or uneven topography. Okay, and somewhere in between, but somewhere in between we also find plain topography, no undulation. No unevenness of whatever the soil or even land. That's why it is known as plain. Sometimes there is undulating topography, sorry, topography, and sometimes there is a plain. Okay. Now we can also see some agricultural field. Agricultural field also we can see from both sides. Students observing from both sides, but this is the rough observation. So now we will teach it. Now we go further. Now suddenly Sakshi said, "We can see small settlements along the road." What kind of small settlement? You know, various types of small settlements along the road. Even, even you are traveling by highway. Obviously, you can see the small settlements even along the road. Now we can see stocky stuff. Obviously, all these things are required, required essential, and uh, they have key stalls and dabas, dabas to for food. Then petrol pumps also that you know, and other shops. So you. Uh, Sakshi's observation. This is nothing but a Sakshi's observation. What she observed? She observed small settlements along the road, along the highway. They are traveling by highway, obviously. And we can see tea stalls, dhaba, petrol pump, and other stuff. When you went uh, or you travel by the highway, obviously you have observe all these things along the road when you go by Mumbai and the bar highway. Okay. Now teacher said, yes, Meena, your observation. Now Meena, tell your observation. What kind of observation you have made? Now Meena said. Madam, we are going down the slope. Are we going down the slope? Are we going down the slope? Slope, you know, slope. A gentle slope, not steep slope. Now, teacher said, correct. Yes, your observation is also correct. You know, even though your observation is very really small, is the tiny one, is the minute one, but it is a minute one. So now we are in the southern part of the Balaghat range. Balaghat range is nothing but a part of Sayyam range. You know, Western Ghat, Western Ghat, then Maharashtra, as well as other. Uh, states also, but this western part starts from uh, Rajasthan and it ends in Kerala, and it is near to the uh, parallel, not near but parallel to the coastal area, western coastal area. You may call it a gradient system. So Balaghat Range is nothing but an offshore. Offshore. Oh, what is offshore? Offshore is nothing but a, you may in in simple language that is correct. It is nothing but the child. It is nothing but the child, not in the physical sense. Huh? But child of Sayyadri Range, Sayyadri Mountain is the largest mountain range in Maharashtra. It is the largest mountain range in Maharashtra, and Sayyadri Mountain Range are the nothing. These mountain ranges are nothing but a part of Western Ghat Range, and this Balaghat Range is nothing but a part of the Sayyadri Range, and that's why I have told you that this Balaghat Range is nothing but a part of the Sayyadri Range. Okay. So they are observed in the southern part of the Balaghat Range. Now we are in the southern part of Balaghat Range. Range is nothing but a mountainous area. Andaman Chira Mountain. Range is nothing but a Andaman Chira Mountain. Okay. Now they are eastern. So they are the eastern offshoots of the Sayyam. They are already told you that the Balaghat Range is nothing but the eastern offshoot. They are nothing but chart of the Sayyam Range. Sayyam Range is the main range, especially western Ghat. Okay. In Maharashtra. Now keep looking at the map given to you. So, okay, teacher said, now look into the map and observe the observation and the topography outside. And you can see the topography outside. Now you can easily see the changes occurring in the landscape. Landscape is constantly changing. You cannot see the same land. 
then they will be event topography, argument topography, rough topography, or various types of topography you can observe while you're traveling by the bus or while you're going to the geography the tool. Now, tell me about the settlement patterns in a housing type, what kind of a settlement pattern in a housing type settlement is related to, to human beings and even the housing that is also related to what kind of our settlement types and housing that we can observe. So we will go further now, Suraj, okay? 